Torta Caprese is the signature from this island, and it's chocolate cake, and it is divine. I've just melted two sticks of butter and one and a half cups of dark chocolate. I've already separated five eggs, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna beat the egg whites first. Look at these beautiful peaks. Okay, so the egg whites are now done. I added a little bit of salt just to help the beating and to stabilize them a little bit. So now we're gonna set the egg whites aside. We're gonna add those a little bit later. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get started on my yolks. Now this adds the richness and look how beautiful these yolks are. And we're gonna add one cup of sugar and I'm also gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. I'm gonna beat the egg yolks with a little bit of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There we go. So now, I'm just gonna beat this until it's slightly pale. Okay, egg yolks are done. So now, I'm gonna add one and a half cups of almond flour in there. And that's the only kind of flour that we're gonna add to this. And lots of chocolate. And I just did it over a double boiler. And we're just gonna pour, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Isn't that rich? I think it's the, um, the iconic cake of this island. And I love it. And it's super easy to make. And it's very rich and delicious. Okay, so that's mixed. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly add and fold the egg whites into the chocolate mixture. And this is an important part of the process because you want to make sure that you slowly fold the egg whites in so you can make the cake nice and light, right? Because the thing about only using almond flour and not using any white flour is that the cake tends to be a little bit denser and heavier. So to lighten it up, the egg whites come to the rescue. Okay, second batch, actually, We'll do it in three batches. Make sure that we don't deflate the egg whites. And I think the sweets of Capri are so much fun. Okay, egg whites are in. Last batch, here we go. There's something very special about being able to cook outside and listening to the waves, the boats, all the Italian chatter. Okay, egg white is incorporated. We're gonna grab our dish, our baking sheet, with our spring foam pan, so it makes it really easy to get the cake out. And we're just gonna pour it. I buttered the bottom already. And we're just gonna pour it right into, get all of the batter into the baking dish. Let it settle a minute, and we're gonna pop this in the oven, 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Here we go. My torta caprese has cooled, and you wanna wait till it completely cools before you dust the top with powdered sugar. So there's two ways. You could dust the top with cocoa powder if you want, or you can make it snow on top of your torta caprese with a little bit of powdered sugar. And I'll say this, Jade prefers the powdered sugar over the cocoa powder, so that's why we do powdered sugar, but you could do either. Then, just take a nice slice. What I'm gonna do is, since my mom's at the pool with Jade, I thought it would be fun for us to just all share one slice. So I'm making the slice a little bigger than I normally would. There we go, look at that baby. Okay. Three forks, one large slice. Let's go see what the ladies think. Come on, Jade. Yeah. All right, I got the cake. Woo. All right, so. What did you make? La torte caprese. Oh. So, so here's the caprese tort, Jade. I'm gonna cut you a little piece, Jade. Mama only eats the corner, by the way. Like your mom. Wanna you wanna do it? Got it? Yeah, okay. go. Um, How is it? Very good. Really good. Wow. Oh.